Good evening, sir. Hello again. We're going to take a little trip. Where are we going? We are going to Wales. Never been. Well, me neither, but that's where we're going. And we are going to hit the, what I thought was pronounced Pendrin, but after listening to a podcast with our dear friends, Jason Johnstone Yellen and Joshua Hatton of Single Cask Nation, their One Nation Under Whiskey podcast where they interviewed Matthew Reese from the Americans, just happens to be Welsh. They did a tasting of the Pendarin whiskeys. Mm -hmm. The pronunciation is Pendarin. 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 And but if your name is R H Y S, it's you're most likely Welsh. Is that where you're going? I guess. So our great hero here, Reese Hoskins, from the fine Philadelphia Phillies, oh. somewhere along the way, is most likely Welsh. That's a possibility. I guess. You got uh, you got Matthew Reese. Matthew Reese. Then who's the other guy? Reese Stephens. Uh, uh, John Rice Davies from. Oh. Lord of the Rings and Indiana okay. Jones. He's Welsh. Uh -huh. Indy. And Anthony Hopkins, Richard Burton. Did also not know Welsh. either one of those was Welsh. Also Welsh. But you know what? The most important thing is it's Welsh right now. Pandaren, Pandaren. whiskey. Pandaren whiskey. So we have three expressions from Pandaren. We have the myth. We have the legend. And we have, last but not least, the Madeira cask. So I'm thinking we go the myth, the legend, and then the Madeira. The man, the myth, the legend. They, that we're that, that's the way I was going. I'm so should, maybe we should do the the Madeira, the myth, and the legend. I'm good. You want to do it that way? We can try the Madeira first. Okay, let's do that. Let's do the Madeira. Madeira. First, it has a slightly higher ABV. Okay. Forty-six percent Madeira cask. We like high the ABV. The other two, I believe, are forty-three percent. Okay. So okay, we're going to take a short little break, and we're going to come back. Okay, we're back. Let's 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 pour this. I guess I should have poured before we hit the record button, but eh, whatever, whatever. So we got the Madeira here. Madeira is from the Isle of Madeira. Now Madeira is Portuguese, I believe. I believe you're correct. Right, port or is that port? No, Madeira is Portuguese. Hmm. Right, port comes from Portugal, like the the mainland, and the Madeira comes from the island of Madeira. Here's your glass. Here's my glass. Know about Madeira, it was. Sir? Cheers. George Washington's favorite one. This is this is a very light in color. I'm gonna light say color. it's very golden, like a golden yellow. Golden yellow, a little darker than straw. Yeah, a little it's bit like a like a light honey. I'm going gold. I'm going pure liquid gold. I'm going about maybe. Oh. Yeah. And the the flavors are lush. Ooh. Wow. That's awfully nice. That's grapey. That's very grapey. Getting a lot of raisins. Yeah. There's a lot of grape on this one. I'm not gonna say grape juice, but it's sweet. Maybe a little. Uh, I think it's very sweet. A little tropical. I'm getting like a like almost like a like a like a just a granulated sugar, and and grapes. I'm getting a lot of uh, toffee. I got some vanilla. Like a good vanilla toffee candy. Oh, it smells really good. I like the, I like the smell. It's oh, very different. This is there's nothing to yeah. say. This is not approachable. Oh, that's very nice. I'm going in. Not waste any time, huh? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nose for a little bit longer. I'm going to read the reaction on your face with the taste and say, hmm, should I be scared? Not at all? Not at all. I think you're happy. Uh, is that a happy face? Is that a sad a, face? It's a good whiskey. It's just my face. It's, it's, this is my face. This is my face. It's a good whiskey. There's no happy or sad. It's just good. That's, uh, that's a good solid whiskey. Oh, wow. Maybe a medium feel. Not so velvety, but not so bad. But the What's the, this is 46? 46. It feels hotter than that. Though. A lot of heat. It feels hotter than that. And, uh, you know, fantastic finish. Nice blend from the heat to the sweet to the finish. A little bit of drying in the finish, but not overly drying. It's not one of those ones that kind of dries you out. And, and you get a good bit of the wood. There's a lot of oaky vanilla. That's really nice. I, it's it's interesting because it's, it's kind of light in a way. Just the flavors are light. They're not like strong, overpowering flavors like you get like a port fit, like from a... From a sherry finish, like an abuna for or oh, something like that. Yeah. You don't get that intensity, and I don't know how long this is aged, but it's very, very light and and fruity and fragrant, and I get a little vanilla and I get that grapiness again, but it's very soft. You know, almost like a like a musket, like a muscatel kind of thing, like a sweet grape. How about like a silk? No, what's that one? What's a nice sweet, like a light sweet white wine? Moscato. Yeah, maybe like a Moscato. 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 Didn't I say a muscatel, right? Muscatel? Like something like a that. Muscatel? It's like it's like sweet. But not, not... A little Gewürztraminer? Not candy sweet. A little Gewürztraminer? There you go. That's what I'm thinking. Is that right? Like a Gewürztraminer or whatever they're called. Oh. 
I will accept your pronunciation Alsace. as you are far closer to Europe than I ever was. That is just really, just really nice. Really nice. Very pleasant. Very I'm really thinking. Pleasant. I'm thinking aperitif. I'm thinking this is a starter. And we were uh, we were introduced to uh, at least I was to uh, to this fine distillery by it's our good friend content. Sam. Ah, uh, Sammy Spears. He, he brought some over and dropped it off, and my wife was very happy with this. Mm -hmm. And I, I think she would also be very happy with this again that it doesn't have the the overwhelming medicinal qualities of some whiskeys. It has a very, very nice sweetness, a nice balance. It's very good. I would say this is sort of maybe a, a slightly more intense, like Irish style whiskey to a degree, maybe. You know, like, in terms of the flavor profile, I could, like I could it's say not it. as soft as a, as, a, as an Irish whiskey. I can see that. It has a little bit more. You don't get the, to it. You don't get the heather. You get more of the fruit and the vanilla. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it doesn't have the the kick of maybe some of the scotch. It's very nice. No, no, this is very, very gentle. Very, nice. very gentle. Gentle yet intense. There is a slight intensity to yeah, it. It's very nice. But I, I, I'm thinking I, I would like this as a starter. Like a nice starter to my meal with maybe like a nice, again, I, don't, I, you know, I always go back to the fruit and cheese, the cheese and meats because I like the cheese and meats. But just cheese. Like, and, um, you know what I like? Wensleydale. Wensleydale. Did you ever have a Wensleydale? Wensleydale, no. What, they do a Wensleydale with like, you can get it with, uh, with fruit in it, like uh, cranberries or blueberries or whatever. That would go really nice with a some cracker. Some figs, figs. Get some figs. Some dried fruit. Some nice cheese. Like a nice dry cheese, like a stilt maybe. Or a cheddar. Or something I, like that. I, I'd also go and, and say that this would not be too bad with a, a nice a panna cotta. Che, a nice cheesecake. You're going to go back to your panna cotta? No, go to cheesecake. cheesecake? Okay. Nice cheesecake. Get a little graham cracker, a little vanilla mm. from the cheesecake. This, this be, so maybe at the beginning of a meal uh -huh. or maybe at the end of a meal. But this yeah. is certainly a, a, lot of, a lot of flavor. A whole yeah, lot of flavor. See, I, again, I'm, I'm just thinking just because of its lightness, I think it would be a really nice start. Yeah. I think it would be a nice, like, open up the, open yeah. up the palate. Just go, yeah. Yeah. And just go right in. Very nice. Go right in. So anyway, nice. we really like this. I like this a lot. Um, so let's move on to the next one. And then we're ready for round two. Round so two. we did the Madeira. Now we're going to move on to the myth. The myth. The myth. The myth. The man, the myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the, myth. the legend. Salud. Salud. Cheers. So we've got the myth here. This is 43%. This is maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, it is. It's, it's slightly, yeah. just a, a not, not a whole lot darker. A touch, a touch darker. And and this myth, the nose should be. Uh, no, 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 no! Don't lead. Don't lead. Does it say anything else about it? I don't want. I don't want to hear the tasting it notes. It doesn't say anything else about it. I'd rather just compare the tasting it's, notes. It's won a number of awards. This is a little. It almost feels denser. It almost smells a little bit denser than the other one. This one has a little bit more. A little bit more to it. I think you're right. I think for uh, for the first batch, this the Madeira single cask, it, it smelled very pleasant. Very, it was just this, very light and very. This almost seems the myth seems almost more oomph to it. I think like darker fruit. Like I think we're getting like darker with this, and maybe I could actually get more sugar, like more darker sugars. The other one was more just really light and, and you know light and breezy and easy. This maybe one, a little more citrus too, maybe. Mm -hmm. This one I'm getting more. I'm getting more sugar. I'm getting more sugar, more dark fruit. So maybe like figs. Figs. Maybe a little fig jam. Maybe a darker grape. Maybe a little, little cidery. The sugar from a cider. Mm, maybe. It's a little bit more. I'm not going to say more depth, but again, I think it's a little bit more intense flavors. I think you get a little more heat up front. Mm. I don't. I don't find it particularly hot. I just find that the flavors are a little bit, maybe heavier. Well, and I don't mean that it's overly hot just compared to the other mm. Madeira. The Madeira didn't have a whole lot of heat up front, mm. where I think this is a little bit more heat. Again, I think, the, I think the sugars are darker on this. They feel a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, like you put sugar in the pan and you let it go. First you start Caramelized off, a little bit more. Yeah, and it gets a little, little bit more going on. like darker brown sugar. Just knocking it back, are you? Well, I think I may be short poured. I'm not really sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Pour yourself uh, one more. I'm good. Ah, come on. Come, come on. We come have on. another one come left. Come on. Have another one more. Okay. Fine. Um, it was very good. I think I like the good. first I, one a little I, bit better. I, I think I do. I think the Madeira cast was a little bit um, more balanced for me. Mm -hmm. And I thought this one was a little bit more drying in the finish. Yeah. No, I, I, Which... Nothing wrong with that. No, Just no, 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 think, no. You know, you, you pick a favorite, and no, no, like your is, children, there's is, always a favorite. This is after dinner. This is more after dinner. Yeah, again, very so 
Sipping whiskey, very yeah. good. You don't have to do anything to it. Don't put water in it. It's it's just good solid whiskey. There's no harshness whatsoever. No, not at all. Not at all. And it don't taste like anything like off. You know, it's just a little bit darker, a little bit more, a little bit more richer flavors. So okay, let's let's move on to the next one. Pretty. Now we're gonna move on to the wait for it. The wait legend. For, the legend. Or is it wait legend? The legend. Wait for it. Dairy. How's it going? <laughs> legend. Wait for it, Derek. If you're if you're Mr. Stinson, Barney yes. Stinson, yes, legend. Wait for it, Derek. Barney Stinson. All right, I'm gonna do a little pourie pour. Hopefully, not spill anything. There we go. That's better. That's you. And that's you. That's me. And then we try it again. All right, let's go. Round three. Speed round. This is a little different again. Yeah, this is a little, to me, it's a, it smells a little sweeter, and, you know, it, you hate this note, but the iced animal crackers, it's got like that creamy... I don't hate the note, I just creamy, never really paid attention to The creamy, icy, kind of icing, oh. there's a smell to it that's a little there different are, than the other There two. are no bad tasting notes, there's only bad... Two. Tasters. Tasters, <laughs> there you go, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm getting a little bit of a cream note to it. Mm. Cream sugar, you got uh, like a buttercream frosting. How about a Dots? Cream filled, cream filled donut, donut from, from Dots. Have you yeah, had those? Get a little, oh, no, but I've heard, tell. I've heard tell. Oh, by far the best cream. I don't generally like that that that, that just like sugar cream mm -hmm. inside donut. But and, and I didn't get a chance to have one this last trip to, to uh, Ocean City, New Jersey. But I did write it up. I wrote it up like last year. And it's just, there's just something about that donut. I mean, we're digressing here. But the inside is just, it's not grainy. You know how sometimes the sugar gets a little bit grainy? Actually, it isn't the grit. Yeah, this is it's not gritty. It's confection of sugar, not powder. This, not is, this is just smooth, It's not granulated. Creamy, sugary. The donut itself is light and airy. And then the outside, the way they fry it, there's just like a slight crispness to it. And then they've got the powdered sugar all on the outside. It's Unless you have those donuts, please stop. No, 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 no. No, I'm going. I'm going to torture you. Just please stop. I'm going to torture you. I'm going to make you feel so bad. You're going to want to get in the car and go down the ocean city tomorrow morning and get donuts. Anyway, back I'm to this. smelling some cream, like a good Dots donut, perhaps an iced animal cracker. That delicious smell away. Now, you know, here's maybe, the thing. Maybe some apples, some pears. Correct me if I'm wrong. Color-wise, it's, uh, it's, it's somewhere in between. I think it's like a slight... Bit darker than the than the myth. Yeah, a little darker than a little uh, bit. than the Madeira. A little uh, lighter than the myth, I think. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's a little darker than the myth. I don't know. Darker than the myth. Yeah, okay. one or the other. But um, I think it's somewhere in between the two. Like it's not as light and breezy and you know kind of like you know laying on the beach kind of whiskey like the Madeira, but it's not as heavy as the other one either. I think it's like somewhere in between. I I think you're probably right. I think it's somewhere think in you're between. Right. Yeah, flavor-wise, again, I'm getting a little bit darker fruit. Not quite, let's say, a fig. What would be in between, like... What would be in between... Raisins. Like, raisins? Yeah, maybe raisins. 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 Some raisins. Dried apricots? I know you like your dried apricots. Oh, apricots, are not I? I'm yeah, getting that, but we've got that. Maybe some raisins. A lot of cream. Icing. we got the, uh, that That's dots cream donut, man. Icing. Dots cream donut. A little bit of brown sugar. Maybe a little, little bit of maybe just a touch of cinnamon, but not really spicy. A little, little bit of citrus, maybe just mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm, I don't know. I'm not getting the citrus. Maybe oh, you know what I'm getting? Baked apple. Apples, okay. Sure. Baked apple. Sure. That's it. That's sure. what I'm getting. Sure. Hmm. This but, is very nice. Not a lot of heat. No, I think not at all. That, I think the myth maybe had a little more. Again, not that any of these are very hot. No, no, not at all. But the myth had maybe a little more heat. Right. And again, on the back end, not a lot of drying. Yeah, so I, I really like this, and it's 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 somewhere in between the two. So that being said, if I'm ranking them, because I think we're gonna we're gonna sum up here, if we're ranking them, I'm going with the Madeira Cast first, the Legend second, and the Myth third. Again, but the margins are so close. I'm talking and, photo finish here, and and exactly, it's it's three thoroughbreds crossing a line. Yeah, it I'm, isn't that one's bad, yeah. that one's good. They're all great. I'm, I'm thinking photo but, finish. To pick, you know, I'd probably go the Madeira, maybe a 92. Uh -huh. The Legend, maybe a 90. Uh -huh. And the, the Myth, maybe an 88, 89, somewhere uh, around there. I, I, I would concur. I, I can't argue with that. I think that's fair. Just, the Madeira is really, really nice. That is really good. Just, that's, that's almost like yeah. a, that's, that's almost got a, 
just that light fruitiness and it just really, really, it opens up, it just opens up your mouth, it gets you, it gets the mouth watering, it just wants to get you ready for a meal. That's kind of how I feel about that one. And you're always looking for a meal. I'm always looking for a meal. I mean, especially who, is, someone, who isn't? Especially if someone else is paying. But anyhow, um, I like these whiskeys a lot. I hope to explore them more. I think there's a Madeira cask in my future. And thank you to the fine folks at Impex Beverages for sending these along. And thank you to Jason and Joshua of Single Cast Nation for interviewing Matthew Reese, who was really, really funny, who now they've got me watching The Americans from beginning to end. I was a naysayer for a while, but they won me over. And for getting me to finally crack these bottles open. So anyway, cheers, folks. Cheers. Cheers.